I tell everybody, my name's Patrick. Uh, everybody calls me Easy. A lot of your instructors here, when you hear them talking about Easy, they're talking about me. I've known a lot of your instructors for 20, 25 years. So, um, but uh, my name's, like I said, my name's Patrick. I'm with Stevens Transport. We're out of Dallas, Texas, okay? But don't let that fool you because we've got a lot of regional and dedicated stuff up in this area. But while I'm talking, I'm gonna pass this iPad around. And if you guys would, if you type in your first name, last name, zip code, expect a graduation date, your email address, and then there's four yes or no questions at the bottom. Just answer them truthfully. If you answer one yes, it does not mean you're disqualified. One of them is, do you have any moving violations in the last three years? Obviously, if you do, it's something we can talk about. Another one is, are you a U.S. veteran? But uh, what I'll do is when you get done with that, once you fill that out, hit continue and a little thank you is going to pop up. Just X out of that and pass it on to the next person. And what I'll do is when I get uh, to the hotel tonight or first thing early in the morning, I'm going to send you an email. Um, everything I talk to you today about, you're going to have in an email, all the flyers and everything. And uh, so you'll have everything in writing. Um, I'll also send you some links to some really cool videos that you can check out. Interviews with our drivers, you can take a close look at our trucks. I'm going to send you the video that we made at the Kenworth, Ohio Chillicothe plant. That's who makes all our Kenworths. And we're one of Kenworth's biggest hitters, okay? Over the years, we've purchased over 38,500 Kenworths, plus we run Peterbilt's and Kenworths, or Peterbilt's and Freightliners as well. So. But uh, we actually went into the plant and made this really cool video of them making our trucks and we put it to music. So, so it's, a, it's a pretty cool deal. Also at the uh, bottom of the email, there's a link where you can put in an application. Okay, so if you're interested, we're gonna talk about that later, getting that application into us. Um, this helps me keep track of who I talk to so I can stay on the same, same page as Pam in the front office there, your placement director. And, um, you know, we can help you, get, help you get through the process and get on with Steven. So a little bit about my background so you guys know where I'm coming from. I've been out there and done exactly what you guys are preparing yourselves to do. I am a former driver. I still have my CDL. I got a million mile certificate accident free from the National Safety Council. I've been in the trucking industry for over 35 years. Um, and when I drove, uh, I tell everybody I was the laziest guy out there, man. I was the laziest truck driver out there back then. Not in the fact I didn't want to drive my truck. I didn't want to spend one minute in the back of a trailer touching freight. I did not want to be up and down out of my truck 20, 30 times a day making deliveries in the back of the truck carrying that freight off. I didn't want to be in city traffic all the time. So I chose to be a long haul driver. Back then we, it was over the road and then long haul. Okay, I was on a mission, make as much money as I could, cover as much ground as I could. So as a long haul driver, I ran all the lower 48 states, all the Canadian provinces, spent time down in Mexico. Uh, again, I was on a mission. I was gone from home anywhere from three to 12 weeks at a time by choice. But this is what I tell people. Just because I was gone that long doesn't mean I worked every day. Trust me. I worked hard, but I played hard too. If I was in southern Florida and called my dispatcher and told him I was empty, he'd always say, easy, are you checking out? Yes, I am. I'm headed to the Keys. I'm going to take some time off. I was that guy that always had his fishing stuff in the truck, so I know a lot of people in here probably like to fish. Um, I fished in every Canadian province, every, every state in the lower 48 states, deep sea fished off both coasts, down in the Gulf. Um, I had a good time, but I was able to keep that work time separate from that time off, and if you can do that, you can make a lot of money in this industry. So, but after doing that for a number of years, I decided to come off the road. I had an opportunity to make the jump from the truck to the office by going into an in-house training position. I actually had an opportunity to teach orientation. That's how I got my start in the office. And that's when I got introduced into marketing and recruiting. And over the last 20 some years in the office environment, I also dispatched trucks as a fleet manager and I used to negotiate rates and contracts. So, and uh, now I'm our, our, one of our senior recruiters. I tell people I used to drive all over the country for a living, now I fly. I pretty much fly every week, fly into an area, rent a car, visit some schools, hop another plane and back out. Not a bad gig for an ex truck driver, especially someone that's never been able to sit still because that, that over the road bug bit me. But so I tell you my whole story because maybe you're that driver. Someday you see yourself getting out of the truck, okay? I can assure you nowadays there's no ceilings here at Stevens. We got career paths specifically designed to take that special driver, that driver that has what it takes, out of that truck and bring them into a, a career on the inside, and we train you for those positions. So we have a lot of former drivers 
that work in dispatch, safety, HR. Um, it, it, there's no ceiling here, okay? The downside to this, for some of you, you gotta come to Dallas, Texas, okay? But it's not a bad place, okay? Keep in mind, we don't have any state income tax like you guys do up here in Maryland, so. But, uh, so that's my story. Um, here's, a, I'm gonna show just a couple of videos. This is uh, some of our drivers, uh, what they're saying about Stevens. Training. I did what I had to do, got my solo truck, and just started driving. And at the end of the day, Stevens always had the loads for me, the money was there, everything that I needed was always there. And if I ever needed anything, Stevens was always there to catch me if I was ever there to fall. Honestly, I haven't heard any other company that's out there that takes care of their employees like Stevens does. Stevens just provides me with a lot more opportunities than what I was doing before I came here. I love the freedom of this job, you know, being out on the open road, not a whole lot of people just kind of watching over my shoulder every day. You know, I, I still have to do, you know, get my loads there on time, but as long as I'm on time for pickup, on time for delivery, you know, I can kind of plan out my day, how I want to drive, you know, how I want to plan out my days and where I want to stop, where I want to eat, you know, that kind of stuff. So just, yeah, freedom, freedom of the open road. Stevens is like a big old family. I was sitting in class one, one day when I was going to school to be a truck driver. I looked and I saw that Stevens truck. I said, I want one of those pretty black trucks. And I got a pretty black truck. I have bought two. This is my second one. So I enjoy Stevens Transport. I love Stevens Transport. Over the last two decades, this company has gave me the opportunity to reach heights that I didn't know existed. I bought four trucks here at Stevens. I traveled the world. Uh, you know, I've made 100000 plus a year net. I've been able to network through various other drivers, fleet managers, ownership, and I made a lot of friends and family here. It's just the opportunity here to live. With Stevens, there's a lot of room for growth, uh, great opportunity to grow in within the company. They make you feel like you're important enough to take those roles. I worked for Stevens Transport a while ago. I left and I came back mostly because I miss that family atmosphere and that great support system. When you need something, there's always somebody there to support you. And they don't make you feel bad about the things and the questions that you ask. They treat, us, we treat you like family. You have questions, you get answers. You need help, you get the help. That's why I'm back. You know, I feel like the, when the country did shut down, we were an essential worker. For sure, we were supplying the things that, that was definitely needed. <laughs> and if the country shuts down again, guess who's going to be on that highway? So you heard uh, Herb and, and Ralph say that they bought trucks through us. So they actually started off as company drivers like you guys, gained some experience, and then went through our independent contractor business course that we teach. And now they've, they've purchased trucks and they run as contractors. This next video, we promote our drivers real heavy throughout the entire industry, recognizing them for their excellence. This is a friend of mine, Dwight. Dwight won Rookie of the Year in 2019, not just for Stevens. Dwight won Rookie of the Year for the entire country. And we brought him and his family into the Great American Truck Show where he walked off with the first prize, which was $10,000. And this is his little story. <clears throat> Enough in trucking, 
I can make them something of myself and, and do that for my family. I'm just so proud of them and so happy for them and the success that they have found at Stevens. So he did dance with that $10,000 check, but uh, we're, we're fortunate to have him as part of our family. He's actually a, a trainer, so you talk about being off to a, a phenomenal start to his career. So, so who's Stevens Transport? We're a family-owned and operated trucking company based out of Dallas, Texas. Again, don't let that fool you. We've got regional dedicated stuff up in this area for you. We truly are family-owned and operated. Um, we don't trade our stock on NASDAQ like a lot of the big companies do that come in here. We don't answer to a board of stockholders outside the company that don't care about you or I. They're just looking at that bottom line investment. This is Stephen. He founded the company. Uh, Stephen, from day one, people were the heart of any organization. And uh, as drivers, we're a trucking company. So guess who's the most important people here? <laughs> We are the drivers because we're, we're the ones that bring in the revenue. So um, we truly are family owned and operated. Uh, his two sons helped fly the ship, Clay and Todd. One of his daughters, Angela, is the lady that hugged Dwight in that video. She's a, a vice president and that's who I work under. So again, we are truly family owned and operated. We're one of the largest privately owned refrigeration trucking companies in the United States. So we're pulling reefer units. Um, we're the largest one out of the state of Texas, something we're really proud of. Something else we're really proud of, we've been in business 42 years. We have never, ever had a layoff at this company. How many people in here have been laid off once or twice? You know, it's a common thing. No layoffs here. We never had one person laid off. So it's a testament to how the companies run. Now, as I travel around the country, students are always asking me, what are you going to guarantee me? How many miles a week? How many this and that? I've been in trucking over 35 years. I'm not going to guarantee you the sun's coming up tomorrow. I can't. Okay, but I like to flip that around. When someone says to me, how many miles a week are you going to guarantee me? I always like to ask them, can you guarantee me you're never going to be late with a load? Can you guarantee me you're never going to hit one of our trailer tires on a curb making a tight right turn? Can you guarantee me you'll never have an incident with the reefer unit because you simply weren't paying attention? Those are tough guarantees. So instead of a guarantee, I'll make you a promise. If you come to work for Stevens, you got this entire family here backing you up, man. We are here to support you, okay? We're gonna give you the best equipment out there on the road. We're gonna give you the best training and the support and the tools next necessary for you to be successful, okay? The more successful we are as drivers, the more successful the company is on a whole. I also make you a promise, you'll never have to worry about your paycheck here. It'll be here every single Friday without fail, okay? We pride ourselves on paying the drivers on time, every time, and you won't have to be calling the payroll department all the time, like happens at a lot of trucking companies, and saying, you shorted me a stop, you shorted me 100 miles here, okay? If you're looking for financial stability, we have it. As a family-owned and operated trucking company, we generate close to a billion dollars a year of revenue, and we're debt-free. Again, it's a testament to how the companies run. So what is it that we do? We specialize in temperature control, time-sensitive, recession-proof freight. What I mean by this is 95% of the stuff we haul is food and medicine. So we have always been that essential carrier before that term came to be during COVID. Recession proof, okay? 95% of it's food and medicine. No matter how bad this economy gets, people are gonna eat. People are gonna get their medicine, okay? So this is one of the reasons why we don't slow down. We do operate across the lower 48 states plus Canada and Mexico, but things have changed over the years. How many people in here are looking to run over the road? Okay, how many people are looking to run dedicated, regional? Okay, well, if you're an over-the-road driver, you don't, you'll, you won't cross the northern or southern border with us anymore. We have subsidiaries up north and down south. So if you got one going into Mexico, you're going to take it to Laredo, drop that trailer back under one that's sitting there, and start trucking north again. If you're coming up into one of the Canadian provinces, take it to the transfer station, drop that trailer, grab one of ours that are sitting there, and start trucking south. Which means you do not need a Twit card. You don't need a passport. You don't even need hazmat to drive for us. Again, we do run over the road, regional and dedicated services. Who do we do this stuff for? This is just the tip of the iceberg of some of our Fortune 500 companies that we've been doing business with. Some of these people for 40 years. Now what's unique is we can all go home and find these products in our freezers, our pantries, our medicine cabinets, refrigerators. <laughs> we haul stuff that people use in this country every single day. If you guys open that portfolio to page six, here's some more of them. Now, one of the nice things about pulling a reefer unit is 
you can uh, shut that reefer unit off on the front of the truck. And what do you have on the front of the trailer? What do you got? You got a drive van. So you can haul the best of the drive freight plus any type of temperature controlled. So you see FedEx and UPS. These are major customers of ours. We run a lot of expedited freight for that. Peterbilt, we haul a lot of parts under Packard. Peterbilt and Kenworth are both made under the Packard brand. Some of our over the road drivers might pick those trailers up down south. They run them all the way up to Chillicothe, Ohio, drop them back under an empty, kick that reefer unit on and then run right over to Purdue and Kraft, grab another load of uh, frozen commodities and take off again, okay? So again, we, we can run the uh, dry freight or the uh, temperature control freight. Now, by specializing in, in the temperature control time sensitive segment of trucking, we average one of the longest, most consistent lengths of haul in the industry. And what I mean by this is, think about this, no matter what kind of trucking you wanna do, you wanna run over the road, regional, dedicated, local, if you wanna pull a flatbed, a reefer unit, Conestoga wagon, water bottle, curtain side, RGN, doubles, even if you're gonna drive a class B vehicle, every single thing in trucking has an origin and a destination. What we do between them two points is called our length of haul. Okay, this is where we make our money. Our average length of haul is 1,500 miles. So when you pick up your load, you're gonna do what I did back when I drove. You're gonna pull away from the dock, shut the doors, padlock it, seal it. You're going trucking for two or three days. You're not gonna do anything but put fuel in the tractor, fuel in the reefer unit, pre-trip, post-trip, hit that open road and keep that left door shut. That's how we make money. The more miles we run, the more money we make. Our drivers very easily can average 2,500 to 3,000 plus miles a week, okay? How many people in here are coming to school to get their CDL so they can unload trucks every day? Anybody? If you're like me, you're going to work smarter, not harder, right? All of our freight's no touch. We don't touch anything. I can assure you, you don't get dirty when you drive for us. You need a pair of work gloves. Pump your diesel fuel, open and close your trailer doors, wind down your landing gear, pop your airlines, reach up under there and pull that pin on the fifth wheel, okay? So our freight is all no touch. It's, it's what we call very clean, very driver-friendly freight. Where do we go into? We run into the cold storage facilities, distribution centers, and industrial parks. Think about this. Where are these places located? Most of them are on the outskirts of the major metropolitan areas. We're not running downtown Philly, Boston, Chicago, LA, Atlanta, Pittsburgh, Charlotte, St. Louis. We deliver to the outskirts. What these facilities will do with that freight when we drop it off, they break it down, they inventory it, then they put it on the other trucks. Those are the drivers that are running that stuff in and out of the cities, up and down out of their trucks 20, 30 times a day, in the back of those trailers humping that freight off. So again, our freight is very clean, very driver-friendly freight. Now, Stephen made a promise to all the drivers years ago. We're going to be the best equipment out there, hands down, man. We're the number one asset that the company has. Think about this. We're the revenue generators. Nobody gets paid until you or I get out there. We pick up that load here, deliver it here. When we build that customer, the customer pays us. It pays the drivers, your dispatchers, your fleet managers, safety, HR. It pays the diesel techs. It pays the crews to keep our landscaping looking good. It pays everybody, okay? So we're the number one asset. The other side to this coin is everything we do is is time sensitive. We haul what is commonly referred to in this industry as perishables, which means if it sits on my truck too long, it's no good, okay? So we cannot afford our trucks breaking down on the side of the road. Can't afford our trucks being pulled into DOT way stations and being detained for a level one, level two, level three inspection. Not that we're worried they're not gonna pass, we just can't afford our drivers sitting there going through that, okay? So with all that said, when you drive for us, you can hold your head up high. Our drivers are very well respected throughout this entire industry from other companies, other drivers, and most importantly, law enforcement. Law enforcement, coast to coast, border to border, they know we run new trucks. They know our drivers are trained properly. Our safety records and our safety standards speak for itself. Think about this, 98% of the freight we haul, we don't have to stop at the way stations, man. Next time you're coming up to a way station, and about a quarter of a mile from the entrance, there's an arm that sticks out across the, road, uh, the highway. When you run underneath that, it registers your truck. 98% of the time when that, that shows up as a Stevens truck, the driver gets the light in the cab. That, keep trucking, man, you don't have to slow down. Move over a lane, wave, and keep on going. You're making money, okay? Now, with all that said, we don't have a truck in our fleet that's older than three years. Typical age of one of our company driver trucks is 12 months. So we're constantly buying new equipment and flipping it, okay? 100% of our trucks are automatics nowadays. And I get it when, when every now and then somebody, one of the students will say, oh, I gotta have a standard shift, okay? I'm an old school driver. I grew up with a 13 speed. Not too long ago, I had an opportunity to, to drive a brand new one. And I'm telling you what, I was blown away 
you talk about a smooth driving truck. And what you got to think about, these are actually 18-speed automatic transmissions. They're the smoothest, safest trucks you can drive out there on the road. Now, we bought the very first T680 that came off the line in Chillicothe, Ohio. And we bought the first new generation, next generation Kenworth that they made. And this is a short video on, on this truck. So this is typical of a Peterbilt that someone like you would get right out of training. When you finish with one of our trainers, we have all the confidence in the world in you. We know you can handle a newer piece of equipment. We're not like the other companies. We don't go out into the back lot and look for the oldest truck that got all the dings in it because we got a new driver coming out. We would not be turning you loose out of orientation or out of training if, if you couldn't handle this. This is one of our Kenworths rolling out one of the gates down there in Dallas, another Kenworth in the shop. We spend a ton of money on our trucks, a lot more than the other companies. We take a lot of pride in this equipment. Our drivers take a lot of pride in their ride. This is one of the videos I'm going to send you. We pay to have that truck washed for you once a week. Anytime you're in Dallas, we have crews that do nothing but clean and polish your trucks. This is our pride and polish group. They even go as far as putting ladders up on the back of your catwalk to make sure every inch of that tractor is spotless. So. Now, Stephen made that promise to everybody years ago, we're going to be in the best equipment out there, right? <coughs> Think about this. Every time we buy one tractor, we spend an average of $40,000 more per truck than the other companies. We put $40,000 worth of upgrades into each truck. This is the inside of a 2020. This is a second bed up here. So every tractor has two beds in it. So if I take somebody, I can fold that bed down. You can see the flat, the flat screen TV, the compartment. Uh, behind the driver's seat, that's where the refrigerator goes. Now, if you open up your uh, pamphlet to page nine and look at that top right-hand corner, that's a newer that's a newer truck. Okay. These tables in the truck now, if you don't want to use that table, you can hit a button and it folds away. The passenger seats flip around. Okay. You can see the microwave above the TV. So many of our drivers were putting microwaves in the trucks. That top cabinet has been redesigned specifically to hold a microwave. Now, before anybody gets too excited, we don't provide you with a refrigerator, flat screen TV, or microwave. This is your personal equipment. But once I finish my training and get my truck assigned to me, if I want to put this stuff in the truck, I can purchase that in Dallas. And then that becomes my personal equipment, and it's going to stay with me from truck to truck. Every tractor that we order comes with the flat screen TV mount already built into it. So when I get my new truck, I just unscrew that TV, pop it off, fits right into the next truck. The microwave and the refrigerators are designed. You just unlatch them, slide them out, unplug them, put them right back into your new truck. Every tractor that we order comes with that flat screen TV mount. Plus, it comes with a 1500 watt inverter built into the bunk from the factory. This allows me to plug in my laptop, my gaming station, a coffee pot, a slow cooker, a toaster. Okay, I don't need any kind of special adapters. I got outlets in the back of my truck just like I do at home. Okay. 
Every tractor also comes with a GPS unit. We use a voice activated turn by turn system by Navigo. Has anybody here started pricing truck GPS units yet? If you haven't, sit down because they're expensive for trucks. If you want a cheap one, you're going to spend 300. You want a good one? It's 1500 bucks. Your truck comes with one. This next thing is your satellite communication system. We use Qualcomm. This thing's like sending text messages and emails back and forth. This is where you're going to do your e-logs at, and this is where the Wi-Fi drops down into the truck. We know, we know how everybody likes to operate off our cell phones, don't we? Probably 95% of the stuff we do in life now involves that cell phone. When you become a driver with us and get that driver ID, you can download this app that our IT department developed. It takes everything off your satellite and puts it on your cell phone. So with us, I can actually fill out my e-logs on my cell phone. The next thing is your APU unit. This is your auxiliary power unit. Basically what this is, it's a generator mounted on the frame of the tractor on the one side right next to the diesel tank. It runs on diesel fuel. Some of these states we run through nowadays, we're not allowed to idle our truck more than 10 or 15 minutes. Some of these states will give you a ticket if they catch you. They don't care if it's 100 degrees outside or, or five degrees outside, okay? So how do I stay cool in the summer, warm in the winter? What about my food in the refrigerator? I'm taking my 10 hour break, my 34 hour reset, and I want to make something to eat, I need my Wi-Fi. With us, when you stop to take your break, you can turn your truck off, fire that generator up. When you run this thing, it'll power every light switch, every light in the truck, outlet, everything. You'll have your heat, air conditioning, your Wi-Fi. When we use this, we save the company a lot of money in diesel fuel. It's so much cheaper to run this system than it is to idle the truck. So we can earn an additional fuel bonus. Right now, we can earn up to an additional $1,800 a year. The more we use this, the more money we kick back in a fuel bonus. This next thing, we just spent millions of dollars and we're, we're starting to outfit the trucks with this. Everybody has a uh, flyer on this. Um, later this evening, when you're at home, uh, hit that QR code and you can check this out. But this thing is phenomenal. This is like having your own personal assistant sitting next to you when you're driving, okay? When you get your dispatch, you're gonna get your load information and everything over there. But then on this platform science, you're gonna get two things. You're gonna get what's called a routing solution. We're gonna give you turn by turn directions where you're going. It's integrated into your, your GPS. And then we're gonna give you what's called a fuel solution. We're gonna tell you exactly where to stop and how much fuel to buy. We've taken all this, out, all that out of that, the guesswork out of that when you're doing your trip planning, okay? Now, this thing is also integrated into your e-logs. So the next step is it's gonna read your e-logs for you. And it's gonna tell you how many hours you have left to drive. It'll say you have six hours left today, you got eight hours. And then it'll tell you if you follow these truck routes, this is the vicinity you're gonna wind up in when you take your 10 hour break or your 34 hour reset. This thing is loaded with apps that you can program in there. Most drivers have routines that we do. I'm an over the road driver, I'm doing a 34 hour reset. You know, I'm gonna get my truck cleaned up and then I may go do some laundry, then I'm gonna go grocery shopping, start stocking up for that next week. And then maybe I wanna hit an anytime fitness or something like that. This thing is loaded with apps that will tell you exactly where those facilities are. We have a lot of ladies that drive for us. We have apps in there geared especially for them, okay? So a friend of mine, Pink, that drives, she likes her nails. You know, so she can pull up, where can she get her nails done when she's out there on the road? So this thing gives you real-time weather reports and traffic information as well. And if the interstate shut down, say I'm heading west across I-10, across the panhandle of Florida and on the other side of the Tallahassee, some client pulling a set of doubles, wrapped it up with another one and the entire interstate's closed. Guess what? This thing can route me around on truck routes. I can keep moving. So those truck drivers that are stuck there for four or five hours, they ain't making no money. With this system, I can keep moving. As long as I'm running miles, I'm making money. Now, let's talk about the process. And then I'm gonna go back in and talk about the divisions. When I send that email out to you, there's a link on there. If you're interested, click that link and get that application into us, man. We want your application early. I'm gonna share some dirty secrets with you in trucking that nobody <laughs> ever tells new people and you find out the hard way. We want your application early because we're gonna do everything we can to process it 100% before you come to orientation. You gotta be aware, it's very expensive and time consuming to do this. There are companies out there that don't even start that process until you show up for orientation. Because in their mind, it's cheaper to see who shows up for orientation, then we'll start spending this money and, and running these reports. If you go to work for a company like that, you're gonna be driving Freightliners, Peterbilts, and Kenworths. You're gonna be sliding trailer tandems, adjusting fifth wheels. We're gonna introduce you to the reefer unit on the front of the truck. You're gonna meet HR, recruiting, dispatch, fleet managers. We're gonna take you over to the shop and start talking about maintenance, okay? 
Now, when you finish your training here at the school, your skill set's going to be right here. Let's face it, what's your end game? Get my CDL, right? So they're teaching you the skills and safety necessary to pass that test. You get a phenomenal foundation here. But when you show up with us, those four days you spend with us, we're taking that skill set from here to here, man. We're going to start showing you new tricks you can do with these trucks and trailers most people don't think about because you're solely focused on that, that CDL test. Now, you'll be there for four days going through this process. Once you finish that process, uh, your trainer's going to meet, it, meet up with you, and you're going trucking. Once you get in the trainer's truck, okay, you've got to drive that trainer's truck for 240 hours. Okay, that's going to take some of you between five and six weeks to do this. We'll get you home once during that period of time if you need to go home. And if you do need to go home, I'm going to be honest with you, it's, it's going to be a short stay. You're not, you're not going home for a week because that's going to delay the whole process, okay? So if you don't need to go home, let your trainer know because if I'm your trainer and I pick you up, you're my sole focus for the next five to six weeks, okay? And trust me, I get paid very well to be a trainer. My job is to prepare you for your next step in your career. Now, where are we going to run to? We've got a lot of ground to cover during training. So that first load out of, out of Dallas, depending on the direction we're going, we might be on the interstate or we may jump a skinny road and run out the back door. We're going to hit all the interstates. We're going to do the four lane, the six lane, the eight lane, the 16 lane interstates. And we're going to hit the mountains. And I'm not talking these little ones you guys got out here in the east. I'm talking the big boys out west, man. It's fun time now. We're going to get you through the hole in a while up there on top of the rock. Your first time through Donner's Pass and Crossing Vale, you're going to be with one of us, one of our senior drivers. Keep in mind, these are 18-speed automatic transmissions. These are the safest trucks to drive through the mountains nowadays. We're going to come across the top. We'll get you through the Dakotas, Wyoming. Uh, we'll do the Ozarks. Then we'll come out here to the east. We're going to do the Alleghenies, the Appalachians, the Smokies, get you over Mont Eagle. We're going to do some city driving, too. Even though we don't deliver in the city, we want you in that beltway traffic. Okay? Your last load with your trainer is going back to Dallas, Texas. You'll go through the upgrade process where you'll have your truck assigned to you. And it's frozen up. There you go. Okay. Now, your first load with us is coming back home. You're going to take a few days off, relax, get that truck set up, show your truck to your friends and family. Trust me, you're going to have a lot of pride in your ride at this point. Now, from the time you start in orientation, once we get that drug screen back, to the time we drop you off and you complete your training, we're paying you $800 a week direct deposit to your bank every Friday. Now, for the first 30 to 60 days with us, you have to run over the road before you can go onto a dedicated account. Okay? Here's the reason. Number one, we want to make sure your time management skills are right on. on. Okay? What, I, what I mean by that is that little green book in front of you, that 395 section of the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations, it's hours of service. Okay? That's your money maker. You've got to understand that. Okay? We want to make sure you're making on-time deliveries and you've and you got a good grasp on the reefer side of the business. So for that first 30 to 60 days, we're going to pay you 50 cents a mile. Remember this. That's loaded, empty, and base pay. Now, when someone's telling you how much money you can make, always get the phone out and do the math. Math never lies. If someone tells you you're going to make $85,000 your first year and you're going to be home every single weekend and they're going to pay you 65, 70 cents a mile, it doesn't add up. You can't do it. Okay? I've got a friend of mine that we grew up together, used to race motocross. He drives for another company, retired school teacher. He's only been trucking for about a year and a half, lives in Zanesville, Ohio, and he, he runs what's called a dollar, a dollar account. So he's delivering to the dollar stores. And every time we get together, he tells me, man, I'm making 86 cents a mile. You guys are only paying 50. And, you know, I, I tell him, I know what you do for a living because you complain all the time. Okay, he's making 86 cents a mile because there's days he spends more time in the back of his trailer unloading the freight than he does driving. And I always tell him, we could pay it, you know, a dollar a mile. If you only run 1,200 miles for the week, that's all you're getting. Okay, but he's a physical guy, likes that physical work, so more power to him. But do you want to be in the back of a truck on a day like today, humping freight? Okay, remember, our freight's clean freight, very driver-friendly freight. We get paid to drive the truck, not to unload it. Okay, so let's do the math with us. If I run 2,500 miles for the week at 50 cents a mile, that's $1,250 for the week on my base pay. If I hit 3,000 miles for the week at 50 cents a mile, that's $1,500 for the week on my base pay. 
The company will make you one guarantee, okay? You'll never make less than $1,000 a week, and I believe you have that flyer, okay? We guarantee you never make less than $1,000 a week. Is there a catch? Of course there is. All guarantees have a catch. It's a pretty simple one, though. Make yourself available for work. Turn your paperwork in. It's very simple, okay? You can't call off four days and expect us to hand you $1,000, okay? Now, after 30 to 60 days, you can go on to the Kraft Dedicated Account. This is one of the most popular ones I have in your area. Your base pay jumps to 54 cents a mile. On your one-year anniversary, you're at 56, then you work your way up to 64. This is the regional, Northeast Regional Kraft Account, okay? It's a dedicated account because 90% of freight you're going to pick up comes out of Allentown, Pennsylvania. That's where the domicile is for Kraft. It's a regional run because you're only running in blue states. Okay? You're not going any further west than Pennsylvania, West Virginia. Uh, you don't go any further south than, than North Carolina. And you have that one on that flyer that I gave you. Now, some of this stuff is what we call round robin. Okay? And keep in mind, it's still all no-touch freight. It's the same type of operation. We're picking it up at the domicile. We're not peddling it to the grocery stores and that. It's going into the cold storage facilities and distribution centers, so it's still all no-touch. Some of it's round robin. Let's say I pick my load up out of Allentown, and I come right down here to Manassas, Virginia. Then I deadhead back to Allentown to get my next load. Okay? Deadhead means pulling an empty trailer. This is why I stressed we pay the same loaded and empty. Make sure you ask the trucking company you're talking to. Ask them, do you pay loaded and empty? If they say yes, ask them how much when you're empty. Some companies pay you this much loaded, this much empty. Some don't pay you all when you're empty. And then ask them if there's a deadhead radius. And use that term deadhead, because then they're going to know what you're talking about. That means that company may have a policy that says the first 25 or 50 miles I deadhead to get my next load, I don't get paid for, because the truck's not making money. Is that fair? Aren't you doing your job? It's not your job to keep the truck loaded. It's ours. Your job is to drive it, so you'll get paid here. Any questions on this one? Okay. Now, the next one, this is a pretty popular one for us. Um, you got to be here 90 days before you can even talk about getting onto this one. Okay? And I'm going to tell you what, you got to be on top of your game if you want on, on this one. On-time deliveries, time management skills, you have to have a sense of urgency. But it's called the rail division, okay? And you'd be based out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. That's where you're going to pick your, your freight up. Our trailers are actually coming in on the train. They're going to take them off and put them on the ground. You're going to back under it, run out, and deliver it. You always pick up a, a load in Harrisburg. Now, you're only running a very small area, okay? Can't pay you by the mile here because you're not going to run that many miles, okay? So we pay you $250 a day salary no matter what you do. Okay, this works on a seven-day work week. So you're going to be on duty seven days. Because we live in this area, we can get through the house two to three times a week within that seven-day period. That doesn't mean I'm, I'm taking a day off when I get there. You can come in there, time management skills, do your 10-hour break, and turn around and head out. After that seven days, you get your official day off. So you can theoretically get through the house two to three times and then have that day off. That seven days is going to pay you $1,750, okay? So, again, if you want on this one, your head's got to be in the game. Now, we have other rail divisions throughout the country. We've got one down south, one out of Chicago, one out of Dallas. We do have some out, out west. Here's the new um, flyer. You guys have, have, one of, have the, that flyer you can look at. Now, remember I said base pay. This is what I get paid extra on. Every load's got an origin and a destination, right? So let's say I pick up my load in Dallas and I'm coming home up here. I have to stop outside of Chattanooga. I hit that dock, that customer takes 12 skids off. Then I finish the trip and come up here and deliver to the other cold storage facility. I get my mileage pay, plus I get an extra 35 bucks to hit that dock. Our customers have two hours to load and unload those trucks. If they detain you more than two hours, you go on the clock at 20 bucks an hour to sit there. Load and unload pay. This is voluntary. A lot of our, our customers don't let the drivers on the dock anymore. But if I hit that dock and that forklift driver is getting ready to rip them skids off and I'm allowed on the dock, if there's a pallet jack, I can ask them. If you want, I'll grab that pallet jack and I'll pull those skids to the end of the trailer once you get them first four off. It's called a driver assist. You get an extra $150 for the load. Layover pay. This is when you get someplace and there's no freight. You got to spend a day or two. I can't tell you the last time I heard of this happening because of no freight. Um, you don't generate close to a billion dollars a year in revenue by, by laying over. School visits, you want to 
stop by, back by the school on your way home. All you got to do is call myself up, call Jeff up. You'll meet him in, in orientation, and uh, we'll get it facilitated with your school. We'll get the date set up, the approximate time. But you got to do a couple of things before you come in here. I want you to get your truck washed. Got to have pride in your ride. The other thing I tell everybody is clean your house, man. Because trust me, you roll up on this yard outside and open them doors, people at the school are going to want to look inside your truck. If you stop in here for 30 minutes, we'll pay you an extra 75 bucks on your way home. Fuel bonus, we already talked about tuition reimbursement. We're going to reimburse you up to $7,500 of your tuition no matter who paid for it. All you got to do is bring us the enrollment agreement. If a workforce grant or something like that paid for your tu tuition, we're going to reimburse you. It's $150 a month. Sign-on bonus, $1,500. Uh, and I got to change this. We just, we just, uh, just changed that. So it's going to be paid out in six months. Once you're here, 60 days, you get a check for $300. Every month after that, you get another check till it tops off at $1,500. Now, here's another little dirty secret in trucking. Make sure you ask the trucking company you're talking to if they have any type of contract you need to sign to work there. A lot of companies are putting contracts on students, okay? Now, make sure you ask this question. A lot of these companies, their policy is don't talk about it unless they ask, okay? And then when you find out is when you're in orientation. And make sure you read what you're, you're signing. You'd be surprised how many times I get a phone call from a student. They say, hey, easy, man, I took another job. It ain't working out. Is it too late to come on with you? And I tell them, you signed a contract with that company. Are you willing to break it? And they always tell me, I didn't sign no contract. Yeah, you did. I say, and and then, then I'll say to them, you got that little blue binder they gave you with all your paperwork in it from orientation? Is it in the truck like they told you to keep it? Yep, Look, leaf through there and call me back. And it never fails. They call me back and say, Man, I signed a contract. <laughs> yes, you did. You know, so make sure you read what you're signing. With us, there's no contracts. You don't sign any contracts here. Why? Remember, we're doing our homework up front. We're just not bringing everybody in and then seeing who makes it through orientation. Now, so what does all this equate to? First year drivers with us, you can expect between seventy and eighty thousand dollars a year. Third year drivers, you can expect between ninety to hundred thousand. Did you catch what I said though? I said you can expect. I didn't say that's what you're going to make. Okay, so how do I make that? Keep the left door shut and go trucking, man. <laughs> There's no free ride here. Okay, we make money by running miles. If you want to be up in there, you keep that door shut and you knock down the miles. You can't be trashing around at every truck stop and gambling house between here and the West Coast. Okay, remember I said there's a time to work and then a time to play. If you keep them two separate, you can make some money. Now, we have a full line of medical benefits. Uh, it's through Aetna Signature, kicks in on the first day of the month after 90. Um, ours is an all-inclusive package, so to cover myself, it's $47.80 a week. To cover myself and one dependent, $81.50. Me and the entire family, regardless of the number of children, $98.25. Now, if you have more than four children, make sure you ask the trucking company if there's a cap in the number of people you can cover before your premiums go up. A lot of health carriers in the industry are capping drivers at four kids. You can cover five, six, and seven, but with each one, that premium goes up. Ours is unlimited. We also include the $50,000 life insurance policy, plus we have the long-term and short-term disability. We pay direct deposit every single Friday. Um, there's no holdbacks. We can, get your, we can pay you on a pay card or we can split your money up, checking and savings. Paid vacation, you get one week after one year, two weeks after three years, and three weeks after 10 years. 401k, we match 50 cents on a dollar. Rider policy, you can take one person at a time. Kids between 10 and 18 can only ride with you during the spring and summer months. We don't want children in the truck in the wintertime, but there's a catch. You have to be here one year with no accidents before you can put a child in the truck. You can put anybody in the truck as long as they're over the age of 18. You don't have to wait that year. You do have to, uh, they have to be covered under a separate rider policy. And that comes, that's mandated from the Federal Department of Transportation. It states that the, the rider has to be covered under a separate rider policy unless they are a qualified driver for the company. So if you're going to put somebody in the truck, it's 35 bucks for the month. You only pay while that person's in the truck. Pet policy, one dog, that is it. So I can have one dog and one extra person in the truck. Now, there's a 50-pound weight limit on the animal and no aggressive breeds. Okay. Now, our equipment is assigned to you. Nobody drives the truck but you. You're the only one that has keys for it. You take the truck home, but technically you don't take it to your house. We have over 15,000 secure locations where our drivers can park their trucks at. 
and we pay for these locations. So what you're going to do while you're in orientation is that they'll find out exactly where you live and we'll get the closest one to you. They're all over the place when you haul the kind of high dollar freight we do. Um, a lot of these places you can, you can park your car and your car is under, under 24 hour security too while you're out there on the road. Now you are a company employee with us, which means we're going to take your taxes out. Okay, we're going to take your city, state, your federal, whatever. Okay, um, somebody asked me the other day, do you have to pay any kind of in tax for Texas because we're based out of Texas? No, you do not. First of all, Texas doesn't have a state income tax like, like you guys have up here. So, but uh, as a company employee, we pay all truck related expenses. This is a very important question to ask the trucking company you're talking to. Ask them, do I have to pay anything out of pocket and get reimbursed with it? With us, you don't. Okay. You're going to get a corporate card to run on that buys all your fuel and covers miscellaneous expenses. We also have the toll cards in, in all the trucks. Okay. Any questions on that? All right. Any veterans in the group? Okay. What branch? What Navy. branch? Navy. What branch? Army. Army. Anybody else? On behalf of myself and the company, thank you for your service. We are a huge pro-military, pro-veteran company. Anybody coming through on post 9-11 benefits, Montgomery GI Bill? If you are, um, I'm just going to use 100% as, as an example. No matter what you qualified, you'll get something. But if, I'm, if I qualified for 100% of my benefits, we have a, a veterans apprenticeship program. Ours is called Operation Patriot. You can earn an additional $21,540 your first year with us, above and beyond your regular pay, and it's tax-free. All you got to do is bring us your DD-214, okay, and we can get it set up for you. It usually takes about 90 days to get that first stipend, and then they come, they come monthly on that. Now, for the veterans, did you guys know that Kenworth gives away a brand-new truck every year to a United States veteran? And Stevens is the biggest player in the game, man. We've had the most drivers in the top 10, and we've had the most winners. Okay, we've been involved with this program for a long time. This is a, a friend of mine, Greg Softy's truck. He won this a few years back. Um, ran it as an owner operator with us, sold it. And Greg's actually took a job on the inside. Now he's one of our directors. Uh, another driver, Jimmy, last year, uh, we were back up in Washington, D.C. on December 18th with uh, Jim, the Veterans Administration, and Kenworth. And Jim was presented the keys to this truck. The price tag on this Kenworth last year was $186,000, man, a custom Kenworth. That picture doesn't do it justice, but uh, just a, a phenomenal truck. So speaking of uh, independent contractors, anybody in here looking to become an independent contractor? Okay, perfect. We have got the best program there is, hands down, without a doubt, okay? Now, you'll be introduced in, once you get to uh, Dallas, they'll introduce you to this. But you got to be here 90 days. Once you're here 90 days, you can call back and inquire about it. But here's the deal. We're going to do it with you. you got to be able to run 500 miles a day consistently or we're not going to go any further. Because if you can't do that, you're not going to pay for the truck and make the kind of money that you want. Okay? If it's something you can do, we're going to bring you back to Dallas, Texas. You're going to go in the conference room with the contractor team. They're going to kind of get in your head a little bit. Want to make sure you got the right mindset to be a business owner in the industry. Because this is what we're setting you up to do. We're going to set you up to be a business owner. If it's something we're going to move forward with, then you have to complete our business course that we teach. You can get through this entire process in about seven days if you stay on top of it. But we're going to teach you things about road use tax, fuel tax, cargo insurance, liability, physical damage, if the license plate fees, revenues per mile, operating ratios, fuel surcharge, very important. We're going to talk about taxes, depreciation, budgeting for fuel, maintenance, that kind of stuff. It's, it's a crash course 101 in trucking. Okay. And then you'll, you, you pick your truck out. The truck that you pick is going to have a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty on it. You're going to decide whether you want to do a one- or a two-year lease. Okay. Now, that, that, truck, that warranty is going to cover that truck, anything that goes wrong with it mechanically for the duration of your lease. This is a, uh, a worry-free lease. Okay. You're not signing any kind of long-term contract on this. So if I do this for three or four months and I don't want to do it anymore, I can, I can very simply just tell, tell, you know, tell us in Dallas it's not working out. You're overwhelmed. Trust me, it's a lot of work to be an owner-operator in the industry or in a contractor. So um, you, can get, you can just walk away from that. Okay? There's no penalties. If you complete your lease, you get your lease completion bonus check, okay? which can be very lucrative. Now, we do a lot of things that, that, that this is a no money down, no credit check, basically walk away lease. We do a lot of things that other trucking companies don't do. Okay, we do not charge or charge you a rental fee on our trailer. 
99% of the companies out there, if you're an independent contractor pulling their trailer, you're paying a rental fee. Some of these rental fees could be $125 to $200 a week. Okay. The other thing is we pay for the reefer fuel. You pay for the tractor, so guess what? You get the fuel surcharge. Okay. And if this is something you want to get into, every single Tuesday the Department of Energy puts out the fuel surcharge for the industry. For truckload, LTL, rail, ship. Okay. And we're going to teach you formulas that they use and what we use that, that uh, you know, especially what we use to help maximize your profits. You're also going to, going to be um, working with a member of our independent contractor team. Okay. People like myself and, and Micah, and, you know, we, we're, priv we're very privileged. We understand the, mo the business model Stevens uses. Some of us have logistics degrees. Now, my job, let's say I'm, your, I'm, I'm that person. I will never tell you what to do. Okay, this is your business, but I'm here to advise you. So I watch that operating ratio. If your operating ratio is ticking up, that means your profits are going down. My job is to figure out why and then call you and let's talk about it. And I can advise you on decisions you can make to, to reverse that, get that operating ratio back down and your profits back up. The lower your operating ratio is, the more money you make on the bottom line. Okay. Again, I'll never tell you what to do. You pick and choose the loads you want to run, run the areas you want. You go home when you want. We sit down. Once you get your truck, we figure out what your, we, we go through your fixed expenditures every week. Okay. So, such as your truck payment, your bobtail insurance, your physical damage. We keep them things between maybe 1050 to 1250 a week. So you know the first 1250 bucks I make every week goes to my fixed expenditures. Okay. So you heard Herb talking in that one video where he's He's made over $100,000 net as a contractor, okay? So the decisions you make as a business owner, that's what's going to affect your net. And those are your very, that all comes back to your variable expenses. So, but um, first year contractor with us, you can expect to do between $250,000, about $250,000 a year gross. Not bad, huh? But you got to keep in mind, that's gross. That's what my business made. So where's that profit line for me? It depends on how, what kind of business decisions I make. And trust me, you have that, that contractor business team here, basically your personal consultant. There's trucking companies that pay people big money to do this. We're not going to charge you for that because if you're successful, we're successful. Okay. Any questions on, on, on the independent contractor stuff? Okay. So why Stevens, man? Great pay, great benefits, the best training program out there, um, the, the career advancement. So if that's what you're looking for, start setting them long-term goals. I'll open it up for any questions at all. Anybody have any questions at all? Okay. If you're interested, you got to realize we get hundreds of applications every day, okay? If you're really interested, this is my cell phone number. Take a picture of that. Shoot me a text. Give me your first name and last name and just say I'm interested, okay? If you're a veteran, put veteran on there. If you're a veteran using post 9-11, just put the benefits, just put 9-11 on there. If you want information on the independent contractor stuff or any divisions, let me know, okay? And what I'll do is I'll make sure I will follow up with you, okay? Um, we'll set a time where we can sit down and talk. I can do it through Skype, FaceTime, and we can set up an appointment. The next time I'm here, the school ha will let me use a, an office. We can sit down one-on-one. -on -one. My advice is, you guys are very early in your program, start making a list of questions you want to ask trucking companies and put them on a spreadsheet, man, and ask the trucking companies. This way you can compare everything. And I think when you start doing that, you're going to find out that we're, 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 we're on top. Okay, we have the highest training pay in the industry, um, the best starting pay, and we've got plenty of options for you here. So, but uh, again, just reach out to me, send me a text, I'll make sure I follow up with you. And then be on the lookout from a colleague of mine uh, in Dallas, uh, Diego's gonna, gonna be reaching out to you. So when you see that call coming in from Texas, don't ignore it, okay? It's my colleague calling you to reach out to introduce themselves to you and make sure that uh, you, you know, we're all working together to keep, keep your process moving and get you on here and get your career started and, and on the right road. So, Again, any questions? Can we take our trucks home? You can take them home, but you don't take them to the house. You have to park it at one of those secured locations, and we'll figure that out when you're in Dallas. And if you want to know where the closest one is, um, just you know, when we do our interview, I can look it up for you. Yep, this way you're not responsible for it. That's a $165,000 tractor, $54,000 trailer. Trust me, when you want to go home, you, don't, you, you want to be home. When I went home, it, things were different. Every day I was home, I had to go back and check on that truck. 
if it wasn't in a secure location because somebody would steal the fuel, somebody, you know, I may have cargo on there. So, but uh, we, we're not going to, you're not going to have that headache with us. Yep. Any other questions? Yes, sir. When you get started. Sign them up, man. Shoot me that text. And we'll set up a, uh, a time when you and I can sit down and talk. And I don't care if you have 100 questions, man. You should, okay? You call me up and say, when we're talking, say, hey, I, I want to sit down with you. But, man, I got about 100 questions. That's cool. I'll answer every single one of them, okay? And if a company, if a trucking company is not willing to put the time into you like that and answer 100, 200 questions, do you really want to work for them? Remember, we're setting you up for success, okay? So, any other questions? All right. I appreciate everybody's time. I'll get them emails out to everybody tonight or tomorrow morning. And again, shoot me a text if you're interested, okay? Thank you.